The LaBelle County Ministry Group says they have been hit with a $57,000 electric bill and they're now having to pay late fees on top of that. Yeah, that's a huge spike, of course. The church received the bill after the winter storm and thought it was a mistake, of course. Six News reporter Andrew Moore is trying to clear up this confusion. Andrew? We've reached out to both the Public Utility Commission and the electric company, and they are both looking into this situation. Meanwhile, the church is still trying to figure out how it happened in the first place. Energy bills at the ministry's Belton location typically run from 600 to just under $1,000 a month. But after the February storm, they got this, a bill for more than $57,000. The church group filed a complaint with the PUC, but it was denied. The electric company claimed the church had waived certain protections in the current contract, but the ministry says they haven't even seen that supposed new contract, and they thought they had a fixed rate plan. Pastor Dana Wilhelmson says if this is not a mistake, there are likely other nonprofits who are in the same situation after the storm. That was a disaster. It was like a hurricane or a tornado or something like else. Nobody ever saw that coming. But the consumer shouldn't have to be the ones paying for it. The state may have passed rules against companies like Gritty after that storm, but there are other electric plans that also passed costs along to the customer, and those may not have been addressed. Either way, we have asked the church's power company to send them a copy of their contract so they can at least figure out their next steps. In Temple, Andrew Moore. Six News. And Six News will be following up with the church and the electric company next week. We will be sure to update you.